for you guys to be able to share this. Obviously, you were there in Edmonton, but uh, Jacob, to have your brother here, uh, kind of seeing behind the scenes a little bit, what's it meant? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's great to have him here, and uh, it's not something that you know usually happens. So you know, I, I appreciate him being here and, and taking the time time off in Sweden from. Uh, you know, work and his family and kids. So it's uh, I appreciate that, and it's always nice to to kind of show them how how we live. What do you think? What have uh, What have you made of uh, just the entire yeah. dynamic of it? It's really uh, like higher. I had high expectations, but I didn't know like what to expect when when I came here. But it's like surreal life they're living. It's like. I always ask him like, hey, how was this city? And, and now I know like it's it's uh, the rink and the bus and the hotel and uh, so. But it's just amazing to to be here, share the moment, spend time with my brother. Well, you guys, are, I mean, the fact that you guys are obviously goal goaltending, goalkeeping family too. I mean, um, you know, how much conversation you guys you have throughout the course of a year? I mean, I know you're retired now, but as yeah. you were playing and just. You know, sharing some of those experiences as you've gone through your careers like that. Uh, well, I think for me, just I mean, he's always been a role model, and uh, you know, as a little brother, having an older brother, not not playing the same sport, but you know, growing up, we did, and uh, you know, he was uh, he was one one person I looked up to for sure, and still do. So it's uh, you know, nice to have him here. But when we talk, it's you know, nowadays it's not so much uh, you know about sports; it's, it's more about life and yeah. and all that stuff. Family. Yeah. yeah. I think I think also like. We understand each other better if if the team lose or if if you had a bad game or like if you have a good game you know it but you don't have to talk because we see like f from my perspective I can I can tell like because I know how it if is. If I'm in a good mood or yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> who to like, blame? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, who do we blame on this yeah. call? Yeah. <laughs> Unspoken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with, with about uh, you know the, the the professional side, I mean, I, there's got to be a lot of pride though about each other's careers. I mean, uh, I know you guys are always you, you know you look and, and you know watch what everyone does and uh, you know maybe just you know a thought of a pride on you know his retirement, but just what he, he accomplished in his career and vice versa. Yeah, I think uh, I mean amazing coming, uh, you know, from our town and just you know sticking to it and uh, you know to never give up. I, th I think that was the most impressive. The route he wasn't, you know, top prospect and playing in the big clubs and getting invited to to big camps, but he just stuck stuck with it and, and worked hard and you know he had a he had a great career and played in the, for for a lot of good teams. So it's uh, I think the stubbornness and the you know, willing to 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 work a little extra hard to to get where you want to be. Uh, I think that 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 runs in the family for sure, and you know that's something you know I take after. F stubborn family. That's a family trait. <laughs> family trait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about? Uh, I think he was telling me about uh, the player, the hockey player. So what do you remember as Tim, the, the hockey player? Do you remember much about? Him? I do. <laughs> I do. We talked about it the other day too. So it's uh, you know it's uh, a lot of suspensions and a lot of <laughs> a lot of kicked out of hockey games and uh, you know he was uh, he was hot but he was uh, he was good. It was really good. Score goals. Oh yeah, <laughs> big goal scorer. Oh yeah, big yeah. goal scorer. Yeah. So you know, I, re I remember we you know always uh, watch each other each other's games, and uh, yeah. you know you still still have great memories from it. So it's a lot of a lot of fun to look back and talk about it now. What about the football side on, on Jacob Jacob's part? Yeah, it was good. Also, he was yeah. yeah, he was really good. But obviously, he he picked the right choice choosing <laughs> hockey. <laughs> so yeah, I'm 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 super proud of him. Like. Even when he was a kid, like playing juniors, he was so good. You can tell, like, yeah, he he can be something if he wants to be something. But it's not easy to go from Sweden. Like back in the days, there was not many Swedes coming over here. So yeah, I know know when he was really young, he was really good. But you never know what road is gonna take. Like if if he's gonna make it or not. But like me, has the same like mental strength and he was always like training hard super professional and yeah i'm super excited he's here well and we still uh, we had on the record uh, a one and a two there in terms of uh, the, the goalkeeper yeah <laughs> do you care to maybe weigh in on that one Jacob? well i feel like uh, there's a there's a nice little movie uh, called Tim the Movie on YouTube <laughs> You know, it's in Swedish, but that was from I don't know if I was 10 maybe, and you know he's four, a few years older, and uh, you know he was, he was the best street hockey goalie on the street, and he was uh, number one, and uh, you know <laughs> that hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Enjoy the rest of the trip. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.